Facebook Live. What's up? Okay, so we're not sure how to get you on our computer, but we got you on our phone. Yeah, we do. We have always tried to do this uh, YouTube thing, and we were like, you know, I'm like pregnant with twins. This is a thing. This is why we choose to do YouTube, is because, like, when I was pregnant with Henley and Hendrix, I I did everything. Like, I shared all the journey only through Instagram, and after you know, after 24 hours, the gone the stories disappear, it will archive, but then you have to remember to save it to your phone. And the problem is, is I didn't. So I lost so much beautiful content from- oh, wait. Yeah, I know, but that's only because it's on your phone. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I will have to show them. <laughs> We're really not very tech savvy. <laughs> so that's, hi. Wait, Doug, what happened? All oh, because right. it's got a lag on it. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. We really aren't very tech savvy, but, um. Teresa, so good to see you. I'm gonna start answering your questions, like I said. So if you wanna pop your questions in the comment, we do, we can see your questions in the comment box here. And I'm also going to answer questions, like really popular <laughs> questions from Instagram because we get a lot of the same questions. So we figured we would hop on live and chat with you live. Yeah. And yeah, but what I was saying before Doug turned it over was that we decided to, to vlog our whole experience and we're gonna to continue to vlog more mm -hmm. in depth on yeah. YouTube because it always just disappears on um, Instagram. And we wanna be able to relive this and I mean, we, I don't know, we were so fortunate to be able to have like so much of our life uh, filmed and shared on Married at First Sight. And now they're not shooting Married at First wow. Sight, as you know, like any type of spinoff, it's all just Married at First Sight. And so we were like, we're gonna continue our story ourselves on YouTube. So that's why we're doing this. And we're gonna start off with the uh -oh. most- Uh-oh, we're about to get interrupted. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we're about to get interrupted. <laughs> Welcome to our real lives. Here we are. Did you fall down? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry you just okay. fell. Come here. Come climb on our laps. I'm going to try to prop this up. That's a great idea. Oh, I have the clicker. Hey. And Henley always has the clicker. They get South, the, I, South this, Africa. This is why I always have, we have the Montana. clicker. Montana. Oh, yeah. We have Texas, funny. Alabama. This is because I always we have the South. clicker. It's oh. because my brother, one time he missed to run. Henley, what are you? Henley, okay. Amber says, what are you most excited about having I think we should do this. I think that will be better. Oh. Mom, I'm putting, I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting them to bed. Whoopsies, I didn't mean to do that. Nina, I'm putting them to bed. Okay, so anyway. I have all of these questions that have popped in. I'm going to show you. Hi, all Washington. of these questions have popped in Nina. from my, into my and Instagram. Was oh. and we went to Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you were just watching TV with me on the couch, huh? Um, so yeah, I have all these questions, and the number one question, the very first question, Hendrix, one minute, Bubby, is J Rose three three nine nine. She says, "Are you all going to find out the genders?" That is Scotland. the number one question we constantly get. And God bless anybody who can wait till they deliver the baby. I'm like, I don't, I can't figure out a name. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to wait. We, I'm like, we can't think of names. We can't think of like nursery themes. We can't think of anything. Hendrix, put that tongue in your mouth. Henley, what do you think it is? What do you think? What do you think that mommy's having? Boys, girls, or both? Girl. Hendrix, what so do you think? So that's you why boys are in when bed? I go in the bathroom, I don't yeah. even have to see poopy in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, is that why? Why would you see poopy in the bathroom? <laughs> Babies always poop yeah. in, in their, their diapers. diapers. Yeah, but baby I'm girls do too, I'm just so you know. I know. <laughs> this is why I like girls better. Boys are poop poop. <laughs> So, so what we did find out though is when you do, if you do the genetic test, if it comes back, if it comes back a girl, that means it's two girls. If it comes back a boy, then it could be a boy, boy, or boy, girl. Yeah. So when we, all right, here, hold this. I'm gonna take him. Come on. Okay. So, oh, Doug, he's Oh, Doug, he's fine. Come on, Henley, come on. Doug's gonna get them ready for bed. I'm gonna go set up the thing. Hey, what, you want to stay? Hey, okay, hey, okay. Uh, you know, we hey, should probably... Tablet, tablet. They never get the tablet. You hear Doug? He's bribing them with the tablet. <laughs> Hendrix, me too. Um, welcome to our chaos. We don't have, as you know, family around or anything like that. So we don't have a whole lot of extra help. And, unless, like, we, we don't have a nanny or anything like that either. So we are just always flying... Flying solo, figuring out the mom life, and we love it this way. But um, yeah, so next po most popular question that has been asked is, um, 
like if you like if we're sharing the gender reveal and when the gender reveal is happening, I wanted to give you a shout out for your actual names though. So because I like I feel like that's like special. Like I like to like you know that I actually see your comments. So M Foster 610, she says, when do you all find out the genders? Are they fraternal? So the thing about we're gonna find out the gender. Um, I believe we're gonna find out we'll have a gender reveal party scheduled for um uh two weeks from today. And I'm sorry. Jeez, that's not right. <laughs> I can't think pregnancy brain. Uh, we have a gender reveal party scheduled. April 6th is the day that it's um, scheduled. And so the, the, what Doug was saying though earlier is that if it's a boy that comes out for the gender reveal, then it could be either two boys or a boy and a girl. The only way we really know the genders is if it's a girl, based on blood, I'm, it was what, mm -hmm. from the sneak peek test I'm saying. Um, the only other way we know is that we'll have to wait for the ultrasound to show the genitalia and they don't have genitalia yet. I mean, it's like forming still, so. <laughs> I'm still waiting for mine to form. <laughs> Doug always cracks that joke. Um, and so Grandma Sharon of six, is her question was, do you have names yet? And so we really don't have names yet. We have the first letters. Well, so that's the thing is that we, and then H someone, names. someone else, I wanted to find her handle because she said, are you sticking with the H theme? Um, oh, here we go. A Newberry 1181. Will the twins have H names like Henley and Hendrix? Um, We're gonna try. Yeah, but Doug really wants to stick with the H names. I'm like, I don't, I'm not I don't sure. Care. I feel like if it's- I don't. It doesn't have care? to be age names. No, I thought that was your thing. Oh, I don't actually necessarily care either. Oh, we're not sure. I like just, Hayes. Especially if, um, especially if it's we almost boys. chose Hayes, right? Yeah, yeah. Hendrix almost was Hayes. Mm -hmm. um, especially if it's two boys, though. Uh, I don't know if I have two H names for boys, and so then that might change. And mm -hmm. I also love rhyming names with twins, and I like. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, we'll... Rhyming names. Well, not necessarily rhyming, but, like, names that match, Tim like... Tim and Jim. <laughs> okay, no, not... That's not what I Pat meant. Pat and Matt, okay. Okay, no, wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Oh, yeah, um, you're gonna get... Do you get twice as big? Oh, yeah. In your belly? Absolutely. I mean, there's twice... Uh, first of all, I have a, the kind of placenta, like, the kind of t twin pregnancy where there's two amniotic... Like, it's like, tw everything's gonna be double. No bragger. I'm not sure about, I'm not bragging, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not sure about the placenta though. Like, I'm not sure if we have two placentas or one placenta I yet. I thought they said there was two. He like, said that he saw it, but I didn't really Oh, Hadley's a nice name. It. Yeah, Henley actually likes the name Hadley. She's, Hadley, she's Haley, times. Haven. Yeah, I, there's a few names that we've been thinking of. Huck. I like, I really like the name Hux for a boy. Mm -hmm. Or Hex. But you don't like Hux, do you? No. Yeah, he did. I liked Hux even with Hendrix, and he didn't like Hux. <laughs> uh, like before I ever. Before have I you had Hux. any cravings? Okay, good question. I really just have food aversions. I have like zero cravings. Well, that's not true. I do crave just carbs, mm. any carbs. Yeah. Um, salt. Your boobs look great, by the way. Sorry. Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, but yeah, I. All of my clothes are just. Hadley Faye is a great name. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't. I can't it's, with you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't focus. <laughs> I'm the one with ADD. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Cravings. Oh yeah. I just really have food aversions. I really don't really. I don't. I can't really. I like love eating. I'm a big foodie, <laughs> and I just haven't really been able to eat much because I just feel sick a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, one thing I wanted to say is that a lot of bread and crackers. Yeah, a lot of bread, and I went. It from, started out with toast and butter, and then it went to some eggs, and then toast, and uh... Yeah, in the beginning, I could eat eggs, and now I can't yeah. like even think about eggs. Like, I'm like, eggs and sound then pizza. absolutely... You're eating gluten, that's what it is. You switch to gluten. I have eaten a lot of gluten, because that's like all I can... Oh, Danny, I like her Hi, questions. Mary. Any cravings for you, Douglas? <laughs> oh, I eat everything. He does act like he, he acts like he has my cravings though. Like what else do you I eat? Do. Like sometimes when I'm craving something, he'll be like, oh yeah, I, I really needed that. <laughs> well, no, so your last pregnancy, I, I got, I got every stomach ache. I got every nauseous feeling. Oh. It was very weird. AmeriCorey's biggest fan. I'm not sure who AmeriCorey is, but, um, <laughs> but they're, they're your biggest fan, 22. Hudson, I like Hudson. And Huxley, Holland, they Hazel. asked any Hard mommy Hard instinct as to the gender of these little babies. So do, do I have a feeling? I, I don't. Ocean and river would be great. 
No, I don't think that's for well, me. That's what Wonderful World of Wen Wendy said. I don't think Ocean and River is going to be for us. Oh, but, gotcha, okay. Um, like I don't know if Couples Cam is still on. Couples Cam is not on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wish it was. Yeah, we would be down. I, I, think, I think we need some, uh, we need some to show the Married at First Sight universe that couples can get married and, and stay actually together. stay married and you know thrive yes but um oh i like huck and finn that's so fun but then i would feel bad that finn doesn't have the h name but <laughs> um i was just gonna say what was i saying you you're like all over the place dog i can't i, can't I, I know there's thought. too many things happening uh, okay oh and mommy's like i don't feel like i know i like kind of want i really want twin girls oh, i'll be happy no matter what sex. I'll be happy no matter what, but I definitely really would like two girls. I felt like it was two girls. And if I, my second... I had a feeling it was two girls. You did? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, Henry said that? Yeah, I told you that, yeah. Because of Henley? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. she also had a dream, so plot twist. We haven't shared this yet at anywheres because it, I found out on a Sunday, and you know I take Sundays off Your social media. triplets? But plot twist, uh... Henley. Henley told me about a dream. Yeah, she told us she had a dream. Two boys. Where it was boys. And yeah. I was like, I have a video of it. And mm -hmm. I I should try to um, to share that with you. Like, I haven't had a chance to share it on Instagram yet or anywhere. I so. would, my ideal, the ideal position would be boy and girl. I, I would love that. I mean, that would be pretty amazing. If, mm -hmm. I, if, I, if I, I would love Just to, to even it out. Two and yeah. two. And also, you know. Henley has also So said, it's not three and... Two. Yeah, Henley has also said she's really not, she doesn't want a boy because of their genitalia. And I was like, that is what I said. Yeah. My mom, I kid you not, I was <laughs> younger than Henley when she was pregnant with twins, when my mom yeah. was pregnant with twins. So my mom had twins, a boy and a girl. And I remember- oh, Jess, thank you. I remember, um, Jamie, your N. My mm -mm. N? Uh, but no, Sherry oh. Finch. See, I'm not sure what N means, Sherry, but, but we're oh. trying to read your comments. That's but yeah, nice. so, um, oh, thank you, We don't Sherry. have a name. We don't That's have a nursery sweet. yet. Yeah, we don't have a nursery. We're sitting no. where this is going to be the nursery. I'll show you real fast. Rachel, your husband. Well, this isn't going to be the nursery. Your husband must be amazing. This isn't going to be the nursery. This is going to be like their little baby nook. nook. If you saw, like, when we first bought this house, and every time I've ever talked about this little nook right here, I've said, this is where our future babies are going to be. <laughs> and I think I even said babies. Like, not yeah. necessarily anticipating twins, but, like, this is just, like, a perfect little nook. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's, like, just a perfect little nook for, like, a couple of bassinets and a changing station. And then, sure enough, we're going to have a couple of bassinets. Oh, and someone told me today that they don't think that... Um, oh, and Robin, I was not on fertility. I was on zero fertility medications at all. Yeah. Someone told me today, though, that um, I'm so ADD, and I also have the pregnancy brain, like, double. I don't, know, I don't think we'll have a, a home birth this time. Yeah, you know, on, if I wasn't having twins, I would have wanted to have a home birth again. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't know that it's safe. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I think home births are safe, and I think for everybody... Do, you know, to each your own and talk to your providers. But for me, I don't know that it's safe. I've just seen too a much. Um, like as a labor and delivery nurse, I saw we too much Canada. that could go wrong. Um, and so I'd rather just be in the safety of a hospital, I think, or at least like really close to a hospital in case sometimes like 2 e doesn't come. Did you, your identical boys, was it two different sacks? Oh no, so usually I, but they well, said I that guess it could, it could be, yeah. yeah. So a lot of people are asking if, like, and I wish I could pull, I want to shout out names, but yeah. Doug, you're just we'll going, be going all over the place. We'll be going to Ithaca in July. Oh, is there someone from Ithaca on there? Well, close to Ithaca. Hey, yeah. shout out to my hometown. Um, so, I only wanted three. <laughs> yeah, Doug that's, only that's wanted true. three, and <laughs> we're getting four, so that's good. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I wanted to give you a shout out for your name, mm. but Nikki, Jersey and Nikki Dorn. 11 says, do you ever mix up your kids' names since they are similar? No, not really actually. Cause if they are boys. Hugh and Janus would be good. Hugh and who? Hugh and Janus. Janus? Yeah. Why? Same together. Hugh Janus? Oh my God, Douglas. 
Thank you. What? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, Triplets, three sacks, three placentas, over 50 pounds of baby cheese. How does your, wow. how does your belly? I wanna see that Women belly. Women are amazing. Women are amazing. That's what I've learned. I Women couldn't are amazing. imagine triplets. Like I just mm -hmm. feel genuinely double everything from mm -hmm. like Henley and Hendrix. Like I didn't, I don't think I was never this sick, mm -hmm. like ever. I mean, I was pretty tired with both of them, but I am on next level yeah. with this pregnancy. And I couldn't I imagine three. You didn't take Mucinix. Uh, I d no, you? I didn't take, so usually, and this is a really yeah. interesting story. <laughs> so Doug. I should go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to go to bed. I'm like, <laughs> don't interrupt me because I'm going to share this story and I'm going to try okay. to like stand the main thing. But I shared this before on our YouTube yeah. channel or actually on our podcast. Well, before I hop off. Um, You're hopping to, off? To put the kids to bed. Um, I'm not going to hop off just yet, but I don't want to lose this thought. All of you, after our ultrasound, when we saw oh, a yes. little bump on the baby and shared that, I've never felt more love and prayers and it gives me the chills now because immediately when we put that out into the universe, we got nothing but immense love. We felt every bit of it. All of you we felt. Yeah. We, we felt your prayers, every every bit your of love, it. your support. And just... you all are amazing and we, you know, it's it's not lost on us how supportive yeah. and that that you are. And yes. I just want to say thank you. Yeah, no, thank you so much for that. So when we got the bump, like results back i was really i really lost it god I, is good and, and you know and not for nothing but um so so I, I, I wish i could give you a shout out but i i just remember <laughs> your question was um are you nervous at all you know like going into this pregnancy because you've had so many losses and someone else said that another person said and this could make me cry she said she found out she was pregnant right around me and she has since lost her baby and mm. I feel like I could cry because that was me. So when I was pregnant with Jonathan, mm. my sister-in-law was also pregnant with our nephew right Mason. The same time. Oh, like exactly the same time. Mm. He was due like my three months. My brother and I planned it. Yeah, they were I think they were going to be like 3 or 6 months apart or something like that. Mm. They were it was literally I was pregnant the same exact time. Mm. And then by the time I lost Jonathan, she came over and he was a newborn and yeah. It was awful. Like it was like the worst. One thing I probably recommend is never bring your newborn around a mom who just lost a baby because that's just like pouring salt all over a wound. And yeah. so, you know, that was something. And then my sister-in-law, the same exact sister-in-law and I got pregnant again. And um this so and so when I got pregnant again Thank at our God. 10 week at our 10 week um ultrasound so for this pregnancy and this was a pregnancy right directly before Hendrix you know I had no heartbeat at this ultrasound and my sister-in-law did and we were like literally due within the same month this time and so then she got to go on and have her pregnancy and we just continued trying to conceive and so I have a real heart for women who have you know unfortunately especially if you have family or friends or you know someone who's pregnant at the same time as you and mm -hmm. then you lose yours and they continue that's a kind of pain that is just yeah. it's so unbearable but the person who said that she lost her baby you know and when she found out right around my, the same exact time as me but then she lost her baby she said it like watching me gives her so much joy and happiness and and honestly I so Thanks, the same thing happened to me too is that when after I lost I had all these losses I would see other women and I would follow them on Megan, Instagram. Megan, we were praying for you as well. And I would be like, I would follow them on Instagram and I would just like, it gave me so much hope because they had losses, but then they had their rainbow babies. And so I think that it's, I mean, Doug's reading all the comments. So, um, sorry, but I'm, I'm just trying to have a heartfelt conversation yes. with you right now and tell you that like, truly, like if, if you're in that state, I really want you to know that I, I genuinely pray for you. Like mm -hmm. I think about like the people who have reached out to us, the people who constantly comment on my page, who constantly send me DMs, who are here right now on our YouTube page. I mean, truly, I think about you and I pray for you and I just wish nothing but the best for you. But um, I don't know what this Woody is awesome. or what's going on. But Haley and Hunter is a great yeah. kinder. I love those names. Those are really cute. I got Woody House and then... Uh, and yeah. Woody. Mm -hmm. That's what I look like. 
You look like Woody Harrelson? Mm -hmm. Or Woody from Toy Story. Either one. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Doug is having a whole... I know! <laughs> Melissa in yes. Connecticut. We're almost at 100,000 yes. on YouTube. We're so excited. If anyone hasn't subscribe oh we would love uh, to have your be amazing for you to subscribe we have it's videos free. coming out it's absolutely yeah. free oh, we have videos coming out every single monday at eight and next week mm -hmm. our video is going to be gender prediction i'm going to do all the different gender predictions but anyways we do have to get our kiddos to bed and but mm -hmm. i just wanted to hop on here live and you tell go. you thank you for all your love and all your prayers mm -hmm. excuse me and i also just wanted to connect with you sometimes it's nice to be live Thanks, because Margaret. i feel like <sighs> Doug does have a great sense of humor and I'm always just like trying to I'm very serious Hunter is out. a strong name Hudson, yeah. Hanson, I'm just gonna stop yeah. talking go ahead Doug. Yeah. <laughs> child exploiters would not be a good name uh, no Harper that would Henry. not be a good name yeah I'm gonna have to block you uh, and also this is another thing <laughs> that I have that has come hardcore during this pregnancy mm -hmm. I have zero tolerance for haters mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now that and I think <laughs> and this is the same for you watching I'm gonna be the doula I genuinely believe that if you have haters in your life, whether it's your family, and you know what I'm talking about, like sometimes you have family members that pretend like they're supporting you, but they're really like not your biggest cheerleaders. Like you want, you think that they would be like, it could be your mom, your sister, your aunt, your grandma. And you think that they're supporting you, but you know they're constantly kind of giving you like bad jabs. Like separate yourself from them. Because for so long I tried getting like winning love and acceptance from family, from strangers, from haters, from haters, from everyone. I kept going, what are you gonna invite them over for Thanksgiving? And because the truth is, is that I genuinely like have always wanted I mean, I you know my story. Like I my mom didn't necessarily want me. She was gonna abort me and then she was gonna adopt me out and she then like left us when we were kids. And so I definitely have struggles with like not feeling like wanted, I guess. Yeah. And so I want people to like me and I want to, I don't know, like please them and I want to support them. And, and for the most part I do, but what I've realized is that you can love and support and nurture people, but if they don't give that back to you, you have mm. to step away. It has to be a two way street. Boundaries. And so I have, I am, I never used to block anyone. I would just take it and then I would, or I would even DM them and try to be like, like, do you not understand? Or I don't know, like try to reason, reason with them. But some people just love to hate. They're just hurt people that just love to hate. And so if you have that, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's someone in your community, whether it's the, the PTO mm -hmm. mom next door that you're like, ugh, like try your absolute best mm -hmm. to set boundaries and separate yourself from them. Because I'm telling you, it has been life changing for me. I went from so darn depressed believing what these people were saying about me to, to stopping Harper, that, like to pushing them away and to then focusing on people who really do care about me and who really mm -hmm. do want to see me succeed. And it's interesting when you find people like that, it's so much more rewarding and fun to then support them as well. And so for each of you who I kind of want to invite Megan on now. Absolutely not. She doesn't even deserve any of our time. <laughs> Megan, we love you. We love that you're yeah, here. We will We're pray sorry for you. you're having a bad day. Yeah, we will pray we for you. We will pray for you. That's okay. But we will probably also block you because it's just, because like, I think our energy is so precious. You are welcome to so follow precious. me on Instagram because... Doug loves to laugh I, at all the yes. hateful comments. Oh, I, I see. I mean, what them? else are you going to do? How else can you practice sarcasm? And, but the truth of the matter is, though, uh, for those of you who are still on, and we're going to wrap this up, but the truth of the matter is, is that... It's really, it's, you know, we're just real human beings with real hearts and real souls behind this mm. keyboard, whatever, you know, however you're watching your yeah. phone, your computer, your tablet, we're, we we're just guys. real. And so it is really hurtful when you're having a bad day and you take it out on me. I actually read mm. all the comments and I, so it, it does hurt, but I think that that's, that's the thing though, is that there are some people who would never, I, I would never in a million years go to someone else's page just to like write hateful, hurtful things to them. I would just, like who has time there, for that? There's a thing you learn about significance and sometimes people need significance. And sometimes the way that they get it is they'll see someone here or just a little bit above and then their significance is try to bring them down. Thinking that they go up, but they don't, they don't. But that, if that's how you get your significance, it's sad. Um, you know, there's, there's a, a change that can still happen. Um, yeah. You know, and honestly, but... I really do pray for the people like that, but I pray way more for the, for the ones who are supportive and loving and kind, because I just feel like they deserve more of my attention. And so... 
Thank you we got a lot so of Harper, much. A lot, for... a lot of Harpers. A lot of people like Harper. I like Harper. Yeah, Harper's too. a good name. If it's two girls, it's <laughs> gonna be hard to pick one. And then if it's two boys, it's gonna be hard to find two. <laughs> two names. But yeah, so we are gonna be sharing with our Instagram subscribers um, the same exact day that I find out at some point. We're gonna try to stream it, stream it live for the subscribers. So sorry you're going through that, Sue. Um, oh yeah, oh my gosh, Sue, I'm so sorry to hear that. But you, you know what? Stay strong and Listen. believe, there's this book and it's called, it's changed my life. It's called Boundaries. And I really never remember the author's name, but it's called Boundaries. And it's really, really profound because it helps you learn that when you're setting boundaries, you're not a mean person. As a matter of fact, you're doing that other person a favor. And so it was just really, really profound for me. So if so, you need help, so I highly recommend reading that book. When we get the gender, is it going to tell the gender of both? If it's boys, then that will oh, tell. So we have to wait until we see genitalia? No. So like if the blood test says boy, right. then we know they're both boys because there's no girl. No, wait. No. Oh, no, that's right. I'm sorry. If it's girls. Right. But that's what I'm saying. So like someone said, um, you know, so what happens if it's a boy? Then you just don't know still. Like, you know, one's a boy, but you don't know both at that time. You don't because if because if it's a boy, it'll overpower any girl chromosome. It's just looking for a boy chromosome, and oh, so if a boy kind of shows sexist. up, then well, it's just the only way they can do it via a blood test. <laughs> um, but yeah. we'll be able to find out. I mean, I'm excited. It's all going to yeah. be really. It's all just for fun. It's going to be amazing. And then once oh, we find okay. out if it's a boy or a girl, Puerto Rico, we love you. Then we will start planning names in the nursery. And I feel yes. like I haven't bought a thing yet. So and we are going to share it with you guys. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. We're definitely going yeah. to. We'll have a YouTube video without a doubt. So mm -hmm. please do uh, subscribe to our page. We're sharing the whole entire journey on YouTube and in depth. And of course, I'll mm -hmm. continue to share on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. And thank you. You so much for spending a half an hour with us tonight it was so much fun nice. having you and chatting with you and i thank you for all your name recommendations we're going to definitely mm -hmm. take a, take a peek at those and thanks for all your love and I your love prayers Harper. i appreciate that so much all right we're going to put our kiddos to bed we love mm -hmm. you